friends, welcome to day 22 of Advent. Today's question comes from Kate Cavanaugh and her question is what are the newish tropes you're trying to subvert that you didn't have in there before? She's talking about my book that I'm working on now, Alex, which I talked about on day 15. So if you missed day 15, check that out down below or in this there, there or there. Yeah. So one of the things that I've been trying to do with Alex is I've been putting, trying to put in tropes and kind of flip them on their head as far as um, tropes that you typically see in fantasy. And so I wanted to take things that are normally in fantasy, like love triangles and chosen one and all that fun stuff and try to make them more interesting or to put them in a different way than what you, you usually see them in. Like there's kind of sort of a love triangle, but it's not really a love triangle. There's kind of sort of a love at first sight, but it's not really a love at first sight. There's kind of sort of a enemies to lovers but not really like it's it's got a lot of everything and it's just kind of there and I love it I don't know that any of the tropes have really changed in this most recent swap but one of the things that I definitely have done that I would consider that is a trope is that a girl not having power because she lives in a very masculine society and while it may appear that that's the case with Alex it's not which I guess is the point like Alex doesn't have power and it appears that she doesn't have power because she lives in a kingdom and it's run by a man and all of the captains are men and all of the people that are leading the warriors are men and she's one of the very few women warriors so it seems as though the reason why she can't move forward or the reasons why she can't get to the things she needs to get to is because she lives in a masculine patriarchal society it's not necessarily the case and that's never that has changed definitely because before it was a patriarchal society but I just decided that it's a fantasy world and I don't fucking want another patriarchal society I've got enough of those let's get the fucking rid of them also in the new the newest iteration there also is that annoying younger sibling trope that will also be different because Alex has a younger sibling but she's an only child so figure that out. P.S. They're not dead. So it's fun times. It's fun times. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that was like specifically put in this round. One of the characters was like a love at first sight trope, but that changed to a childhood romance trope. So it's a different, tro it's, it's tropey, but it's a different trope than it was before. I don't know otherwise though. Is it bad that I don't, I don't know the answer to the question? I know you want a better answer than that, Kate, but I don't really have a better answer than that. So like, that's the answer that you get. If you have ideas of tropes that you love, that you would love to see a different spin on, leave those in the comments section because I could definitely work those in. Like maybe not to the first book, but later on in the series for sure. Cause there's gonna be like three or four or 12 books. I don't know. <laughs> it's a series, there's gonna be more than one book. So I like, I have my tropes for the first book worked out. And I have some tropes that I'm saving for later. Like the chosen one trope isn't really gonna hit until like book two, but, or at least the subverting of it won't hit until book two. So leave me some tropes down below. Ones that you love, that you would love to see done a different way. Cause I definitely would love to do that and to work on that. So let me know down below what your favorite tropes are because I wanna know. That brings us to pulling a creator spotlight for the day. And let's get to that. Day 22 is, Chelsea's out. So Chelsea is a booktube channel. She has a lot of reading content. She also does bullet journaling on her channel. She does some booktube basics as far as like vlogging, unboxings, uh, TBRs, wrap ups, things like that. But she also has a reading bullet journal that she highlights on her channel. And one of my favorite things was in September, she did Shadowhunters September and she read all of the Shadowhunter books in September. That's a lot of pages y'all. That's a lot of books. Um, she did like a weekly vlog throughout um, and like talked about her reading process and a lot of them were rereads for her but some of them were new reads and it was very fun to watch her struggle but uh, highly recommend especially if you like understand like the love of Cassie Clare and the struggle that we all go through when it's time to reread the series. 
highly recommend really love Chelsea she's super fun so I love watching her channel she has um, she's a toddler and so he's highlighted in her videos a lot so if you like seeing really cute kids he's there you can check him out he's fun that's gonna be it for me today if you don't want to miss the last few videos of Advent and you haven't already hit the subscribe button make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and until then I will see you guys next time bye